Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to migrate your current Windows operating system into a virtual machine. So this may prove useful in the case where you are considering reinstalling Windows on your bare hardware, but don't want to lose anything in the current OS. So you migrate it into a virtual environment. With that said, let's jump right into the process. First, we're going to want to open up the disk to vhc utility that we downloaded from Microsoft's website. The download link will be provided naturally in the description below. And after we extract the package, we're going to open up the version of disk to vhd that matches your bit number, whether you are 32-bit or 64-bit. After granting administrative privileges, we're going to select volumes that we want to clone into the hard disk image. For now, we are going to exclude D and E because, well, as you can see, I'm running low on storage on my C drive. So after that, we are going to go up to the top and select prepare for virtual PC because we are going to boot the image up later. And we are going to select the third option, which is to use Microsoft's VSS service to create snapshots of our volumes. After that, we can click create. And now all you got to do is wait. Now that it's done, we can exit out of the utility. And if we go to the disk to VHD folder, we are going to see a disk image file. We are going to move it onto the desktop for ease of access. And now we are going to open up VMware. So that's the hypervisor that we are going to use for this video. Once we are here, we are going to create a new virtual machine. And since we are not going to install any operating system, we are just going to boot from the virtual disk. You can honestly skip over these menus if you want. So we'll just go through them by clicking next a couple times. And before we click finish, we're going to want to tweak our memory and core count settings to make them more generous for the virtual environment. Since we haven't technically finished setting the virtual machine up, there's not going to be an option to add a new virtual disk to the virtual machine right now. So we're going to click finish. And after our virtual machine appears on the menu, we can edit the virtual machine settings. And now if we go to add, there's a hard disk option. Just add that using whatever protocol you want. On the next menu here, you will be prompted to select one of the options. Now both two and three will work, but for three, you'll have to mount the virtual disk first into the operating system. But for two, you just locate the virtual disk image and click open and here if you are using vmware as your only virtual machine hypervisor click convert to let vmware convert the disk image file into something that works best with vmware itself and after that you can click ok and now you are ready to boot up your virtual machine however on version 17 of vmware workstation by default your virtual machines are set up to have side channel mitigations turned on and that's going to impact performance by a lot. So what we're going to do now is we're going to shut down our virtual machine and we're going to go into the VMX file of our virtual machine and change some configurations for our virtual environment. And here, if you can't locate the VMX file, just click show file extensions and open the VMX file in notepad. Once you got it open, type ELM disable mitigations equals true. And then when you go back into VMware workstation, side channel mitigations will be disabled. And now you have full performance in your virtual environment. And now you can safely boot up the OS. First time booting up may be a little slow, just lay back and give it time. And just like that, we are in our system. To prove that it's my system, I'm gonna, on the lock screen here, enter my normal pin. And sure enough, it works. So first thing right off the bat, we are gonna install VMware tools to make the screen resolution bigger. It's currently one fourth of the size of the screen, so I can't read all the prompts clearly, but after we install the tools, it should be just fine.
and we're back. With the full screen resolution, we can pretty much see for ourselves that we've got an identical system as our host, except it's contained in a virtual machine, which can be transferred over or brought with me wherever I go. So everything from my taskbar icons, my desktop files, my desktop wallpaper, to my password is exactly the same as my host system. And with that, we've successfully cloned our host OS using a disk image into a virtual machine. Hence, this video is effectively over. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked it and found it helpful. If you did, please give a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Hope to see you in the next video and goodbye for now.